Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to make this beautiful bracelet out of pearls and seed bead. I already showed you how to make earrings with this pattern with a little bit larger pearl in the center and I will link to this tutorial here. Now I will show you really easy step by step the bracelet. I made it with a magnetic clasp. It is easy to make and I'm sure that by the end of this tutorial you will be able to make it by yourself. It looks good on the back as well. If you want to support me, it's a good idea to subscribe and hit that bell button to be notified for my new absolutely free upcoming videos. And you could also like, share and comment and you don't know how much you help me only with this action. And if you make beautiful jewelries following my tutorials, please share them on my Facebook page that I posted below this video. I will be so happy to see your creations. Now I will start with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so for this video what I'm using are 8 6mm pearls and you could use more if you want, if you want to make a longer bracelet, but I'm using 8 here. And here I'm using 11 o seed beads, 8 o seed beads, a clasp that is a magnetic clasp, and here I use size 10 beading needle monofilament that is 0.006 inches or 0.15 millimeters, scissors, and I use pliers, but they are not obligatory, only if you want to go through the difficult beads. Okay, so now I will take about two feet of thread on my needle, which is about 60 centimeters, and I'm going to start. Okay, and in my first step, I will take one of my six millimeter pearls and I will slide it down like this. And now, guys, I'm going to take seven seed beads. Okay, and I have my seven here. And now I'm holding my tail thread and I'm going around in circle through this pearl here. Okay, now this is what I have. I'm holding my tail thread and what I want to do is go through all of those beads in this direction. Don't worry if it gets loose. Just hold your tail thread and go through all of them. Okay, it's getting a little bit loose, but don't worry. Now I will stick my needle in my mat and here I want to make a knot. And I will make my knot by making a loop and then go several times with my tail thread around this loop I've made. This is called surgeon's knot. Okay, and I'm pulling go two or three times and then go make one more knot like this okay and now this is what I have now go through the center of your bead and take seven more seed beads okay now what I do are seven more and I'm going around in circle like this okay now this is what I have now I will go through all of those seven beads in this direction again don't worry if it's loose you will fix this later okay like that now just take just one seed bead okay and go through these beads here in that direction. Then go here through those beads. Take just one and go here as well. Okay. Now, guys, this is what I have. I have 16 beads in total. When I was making my earrings, I have 20 beads in total. Okay, now I have one eight o bead and I'm going around in circle through those two beads, you see? 
Now you see what I have here. I have something like a loop between those two atos, those two eleven os, and my ato. Okay. Then I'm going through the next two beads like that. Take just one ato. Go back through these two beads. Pull. Go here through the next two. Take one ato. Go like this. Then through the following two. One more. Go here. Okay, I have four and I will have eight in total because I have 16 11 O's and I will attach to them eight eight O's, okay? And I will continue the same way. Okay, and I just added my 8 ato. Okay, and I will flip my work in this direction. And as I'm exiting from here, from these two beads in this direction, I will go through this ato and turn directions, but don't worry that you change directions. Everything will be okay. Okay. Now I will take one 11 -0. Go through the following, like that, then one more, go here, and I will do this until the end of this row. Take one eleven now and go through the following ato. Okay guys, and now this is what I have. And I will go one more time around in circle, reinforcing my work. Okay, now this is what I have. And I'm going to take three more 11 or seed beads and I'm going here like that. I'm going around the 11 O's that are between the 8 O's in circle and if you can go to the next 8 O and exit out of the next 11 O. Now this is what I have and I'm going to continue this until the end of this row. Okay guys, and now I finish this row and what I want to do is go at the back of my earring and here 
I will go inside those beads and to make a knot. Okay, here I will make a loop with my tail thread and I will go once, then I will go second time through the loop I've made and I'm pulling and then I will go through my next seed bead and I could repeat this several more times and when I'm ready I will cut my thread here and I will cut my tail thread and one of my beaded elements for my bracelet is ready. See how cute it looks and I showed you how to make earrings in this way and maybe later I will show you how to make a ring so you will be able to make a beautiful set for present or for yourself. Okay, now I will make seven more elements and I'll be back. Okay guys, and now I have eight elements that I'm going to assemble in a bracelet. In order to do this, I have about an arm span of thread on my needle. It might be a little bit too long, but um, still it's better to have more thread. And now I'm going to take one of my elements and I'm going to attach this thread to it, okay? Um, in order to do this, I will go here at the back of my work and I will go through this bead here. I will leave a small tail thread and I will make a loop here and I will go once, second time through the loop I've made and I'm going to pull. Then I will go through a few more beads and here it's difficult, that's why you could use pliers if you can't go through those bits, okay? Now what I want to do is go here through one of my edges, okay? I'm going in this direction I'm going here through this bit And my goal is to exit here through one of my edges, okay? Now what I want to do is cut this tail thread here. And now I will flip my work in this direction. Now I will take, in my next step, I will take my clasp, split it in two of course, this is a magnetic clasp, a really beautiful magnetic clasp. And what I want to do is take two seed beads. Then I will take my clasp, slide those down. And what I want to take are two more seed beads. Okay, two seed beads a clasp and two seed beads. Okay, and let me slide those down. Okay, so this is what I have, two seed beads, a clasp and two seed beads, and then I'm going through the other edge of my work. And in this way I will attach my clasp here from this side and what I usually do is go and reinforce this my work Okay, and do this at least three times if you can. Use your pliers if you need to. And now what I want to do is go 
at the opposite side of my element and attach my next element to it. Okay. I'm going here. Going through all of those bits. And I'm exiting from this side. Going here inside my work, inside my edge, and I will take one of my next elements. And here I will take one seed bead, go through one of the edges of my next element. You see what I have. Then I will take one more seed bead like that and I will go again through the same edge. Okay. Now you see what I have bit I have a loop between those two edges with two beads on it and when I pull I have a right angle width okay then I'm going to reinforce this by going one more time around those four beads here forming the right angle width four beads like a cross in other words Okay. Now I will go here through this seed bit then I will go here in my next ato because my goal is to exit out of my next edge bit. Okay guys, and what I need to do is reach to my next edge bit here inside this one. Okay, then what I need is the same thing that I did before. I'm taking one seed bead, you see, and I'm going here through this bead, through the opposite edge bead. You see what I have between those two. Then I'm going to take one seed bead. And I'm going through this one here, pulling, you see, again I will have a right angle width or four beads in a cross and again I will reinforce my work. Okay, now go through all of your beads, exit here and attach your next element from here on and you will have your full bracelet ready when you attach element after element. When I'm about the end of my bracelet, I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next. Okay guys, and the same way I showed you, I assembled my bracelet and now it's time to add the clasp and I will add it in the same way that I showed you before. I'm taking two seed beads, I'm taking my clasp, slide those down, then I will take two more seed beads, okay, like this. I'm going here, 
and now what I do is that I will go in circle reinforcing my class I'm going here through this bit okay now I will make a loop and I will go once and second time through the loop I made and I'm pulling and then I might want to reinforce my work okay and then I will go through one of my next beats okay and I will cut my thread you could do more knots of course if you want okay and now guys my bracelet is ready okay guys and now my bracelet is ready so if you like it and you want to see more and more videos like this it's a good idea to subscribe and hit the bell button to be notified for my new absolutely free upcoming videos and if you want to support me you could also like share and comment and i'll answer to all of your questions down there in the comments and if you make beautiful jewelry following my tutorials please share them on my facebook page that i posted below this video i will be so happy to see your creations thank you so much for watching bye bye from me